I want to get back to our breaking news this hour. Israel is carrying out military strikes against Hamas in Gaza after the group launched a surprise attack early Saturday. Hamas militants are claiming to have fired some 5,000 rockets targeting airports and military positions. Israeli officials say at least one person has died and at least 100 people have been injured. Israel's military also says it will mobilize thousands of reservists to take on Hamas. Joining me now is Daniel Levy, president of the U.S. Middle East Project. Thanks so much for being here with us. So I just want to start with your, your reaction to the unprecedented events we're seeing right now. Well, I think the first thing to note, Kim, of course, is this element of surprise and and the the really staggering success in that respect uh, by the Palestinian movements who've launched uh, this military effort. I think that will, over time, play very badly in Israel. I think there was a sense of hubris that you could keep the Palestinians in these conditions and not have these kinds of resistance actions. I think the immediate thing is that the Israeli Jewish community, the political parties, the representatives uh, come around, unify. But I think ultimately this will play into an already deep polarization inside Israel. I think this, whatever happens next, will be considered a significant success for those Palestinian movements. It's not clear what happens next. It would be surprising if the Israeli response in Gaza did not also include uh, a, a ground operation. I think you know, this comes at a time where we have the most extreme government in Israel, endless provocations. You also have what feels like a quite fragile and weak internal Israeli environment. And I think the Palestinian side have looked at that, uh, those Palestinian movements who've launched this. They've looked at the, the situation in Jerusalem, that that resonates not only with Palestinians, but far beyond. They've looked at issues like how Palestinian prisoners uh, have been treated. They've looked at the normalization talks, and this has been the response. And I think it's also an important reminder, as, as, as your viewers are, are, are realizing this morning, that really the, the issue in the Middle East isn't whether Israel and Saudi Arabia, who are not at war with each other, normalize or not. The issue is what happens on the Palestinian front. So many decades of occupation there will not be security, quiet and stability as long as the Palestinians don't have their rights and their freedoms. And we've been reminded of this. It also comes on the 50th anniversary of the last time Israeli intelligence had a huge, huge failure, which was uh, the 1973 war with Egypt, the Yom Kippur War. Mm -hmm. And so I think that will play into the Israeli psyche and into the analysis you're seeing coming out of Israel uh, this morning and in the coming days.